Hello again, this is Shelly from Koala Knits and Knacks. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom on a clover pom-pom maker. I have all four sizes and I'm telling you, they're a game changer when it comes to pom-poms. I used to be very good at making pom poms Well, I actually can make pom-poms very well just using my fingers. <laughs> um, but when I um, saw these, I thought, oh, what the heck, I'm gonna try them. So I bought one and I loved it so much I went and bought the other sizes. So um, I'm gonna show you how you use them. Um, I am actually making a pom-pom for a striped beanie, that uh, baby beanie that you will see on my channel as well. Um, and it's going to, the pom-pom we make today is going to go in that beanie. And I'm choosing to use the third size um, Clover pom-pom maker. So yes, these are, the name brand of these ones are the Clover pom-pom maker. And I'll be making the, the one that's on the green, the third biggest one. Okay, so follow along with me and I'll show you how to do it. Sometimes I use the smaller one, but I like when I'm making colorful pom-poms, I like the size of the big ones. I think they just look so rainbowish, is she and so cute. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open the one side. You've got two, two little holders here. You're gonna open them, put them together so that they are side by side. I'm gonna take your yarn, whatever color you choose. I'm using three colors in this particular hat because it's for a beanie that I've made and you can find that beanie, um, striped beanie on my channel. Um, but I'm gonna use three colors, green, white, and blue. And this is a three weight yarn, but you can use a four weight yarn. You could use whatever weight you want and you do the same technique. You're gonna wrap it around. And keep wrapping. Now you don't have to count. I just wrap until it looks just until I feel I want to change it. Now I've got to get some slack out of my yarn ball. I want to make sure that, that the whole thing is covered though, at least, and then I go around a couple times. You'll see. I'm not counting because that, you know, you don't need to be that perfect. You want your pom-pom to, to um, you don't want perfect amounts of colors, like the same amount of white, the same amount of blue, the same amount of green. You want it to be um, varied. So I think it looks nicer when you don't count and you just keep going around like this. So I have the, the bar covered right around here. And the, the goal of this is that we're going to keep adding yarn until we get almost a flat spot right here. Okay. Um, that, that's the goal of doing this. So that's when you know that you, and you want to make sure you push that over if that happens. So you want to make sure that, um, that you go far enough up to, to make a nice, full pom-pom. So I'm just going to add my second color. Now some people lay it across the back here and, and hold it and go nice. And <laughs> But I don't think it really matters because it's hidden anyways and if it's not hidden it's going to get cut off when you trim. So then you just take your next color and you just keep wrapping. Now if you want your, if you have three colors and you want one color to be more prominent, then you wrap that one a little bit thicker than you wrap the other two. Um, now you can wrap halfway blue and then halfway green and then, or you can, however you want to do it. These pom-poms on these pom-pom makers are just so, they're so beautiful because every pom-pom is unique depending on how you, like how you roll it. You're not going to get, unless you use one solid color. Um, they're all going to look unique and different and beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to keep going here because I want to have um, predominantly like more. I want the blue to really shine through on this one. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to stop there. Cut that off. I'm going to grab my green. I'm going to do likewise, just the same thing. Okay, and again, I honestly, I don't care where this end goes because I cut it, like I said, I trim it off. Um, when I take it off, the pom-pom off and, and I'm, I'm trimming it and you'll see that in the end. So don't be too concerned about that. Don't think it's got to be on the bottom or it's got to be on the top or you got to have it a certain place. It can be on the side, whatever. You just need the end to, you just need to hold it so that you can start wrapping and then just let it go and it's fine. Okay. So I'm going to keep wrapping my green. See, and when it goes over that little edge there, you want to make sure that you, that you catch it. Okay. And I'm going to keep going back and forth with that green. And the other side, I might not follow the same the same uh, color variation. You can, you don't have to. I usually don't, to be honest. I use the same colors, but I don't necessarily start with the same one and end with the same one. I just pick pick it up and, and, and just do it as I, as I, you know, as I grab. And I just find that makes the nicest pom-poms. Okay, so I've got quite a bit of green in there. 
I'm going to add one more little squirt of white because I did a really thin layer of white before. I didn't do too much white, so I'm going to add just a, a little thin layer of, the, of white at the top here. And it doesn't have to all connect. Like you can have green in between showing. Um, you don't. You don't have to have it so perfect that every little like you don't want to have to work it on it so that it's like this, so that every strand meets the next one. <laughs> don't do that. Just go crazy and and roll this thing. Okay. Okay. So you will see that that little that little dip that was in here is starting to fill in and that's about where you want it. You don't want it to go completely flat. Um, I'll put my scissor there. I can go a little bit more actually. There's still a little bit of space in there. Um, you don't want it to go completely flat but but you want to have a little bit of space. Okay so I'm going to go a little bit more and I think that's perfect. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to close this just like that, you see how that is like that? Perfect, beautiful. You're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. And when you get the other side done, um, come back and see me and we'll, we'll do the next step. All right, so we got our second side wrapped. Okay, and you can see that when I put that there, there's still a space. Um, not a very big space, but there's a space. You, can, you could probably go even a little bit more, but I'm gonna just leave it at that. And you close that side, okay? And then I just cut off these ends right away. You can do it later, but when you take it off the pom-pom maker, but that's what it looks like right now. So now you're going to take, you see where these, where this end opening is here, where there's the two sides that are open, go to the other side where it's closed. I find that if I do that and then I hold this side with my finger, then it doesn't, doesn't lift up. Then you're going to take your scissors. You're going to go underneath that and you're going to cut. Now I am going to get, you know, you can get those really small, um, sewing scissors that, that uh, can get underneath this a little bit better. I don't have a pair of scissors. These scissors are actually sharp. They're Wiltshire scissors, but they're, I even have a hard time getting through this with these scissors. So if you can get your peak of your scissors up through that and then cut, it helps. But you gotta realize this is a thick amount of yarn. So that's why it takes a little bit of, of, uh, of effort here, but well worth it in the end, okay? So you make sure that that's cut all along like that, okay? Isn't that pretty? <laughs> and then you go to the other side and you do the same thing. So I always hold my fingers down on that one. And then I go to the back of it and I start cutting. Okay. So whatever scissors you have that work best for you. Just know it's gonna take a little bit of, of uh, tension to get that through all of that okay so there we go we've got our pom-pom cut on both sides now do not open these things yet you need to grab yourself a piece of um, yarn I would say grab at least a foot and a half better to have more more than uh, not enough then you're going to just stick it in the middle there pop it down through those two dividers turn it around and come up then you're gonna tie a knot okay so tie it nice and snug if you got to make sure it goes in between and all the way down and again don't pull so hard that it breaks but you really have to have you still have to have a lot of tension so i will usually pull and then loosen my grip a little bit and then pull loosen my grip and just pull again and then i'll do a knot another knot okay i'm going to pull that pretty tight and then what i do is i take it and go around the other side and I tie one more knot get it nice and firm in there tie your knot now you need your ends to be long enough to sew it onto your project but not as long as what I have them here so I'm going to cut that off and now comes the satisfying part <laughs> Well, but before we do that, if you've got any that are really long and sticking up, you can you can start the trimming process and get those off there now um, and make it nice and uh, nice and even. If there's any long ends, it's probably the ends that, that you started with. 
But then again, there's some that maybe would have been a little looser. You crossed it over a long distance and, and it made it a little bit longer. You can trim those. And I trim it all up after I'm done anyway. So, so now that you've got that done, you're going to take one side and you're going to open these two. Hold, hold the, the ends there and then just pull that open. Look at that. So beautiful. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Pull them open. <laughs> I just love it. And then you're going to take your centers and pull them apart. And I always put it back together just because then I, I mean, I think there is only one way to put it back together, but I always want to make sure it's in the same, same way I started. So I always put it together right then and there. Okay. Then you can give your pom-pom a little shake. Look how beautiful that is. Like, look at it. But he needs a little trim job. Okay. So you're going to just go around make him round he's already round but you know some of them you might have done a little bit looser or whatever you just want to cut off those little ones that wanted to peek out okay and get it nice and smooth i just give it a little light haircut all the way around not cutting off too much of course but i want to make sure that you see these little things that are sticking out? We just want to make sure that those are cut off. So that's why just skim the top with your scissors and cut those off. And you'll have a nicer a nicer pom-pom. Um, okay. Down here. That one's a little long. Cut that off. Okay. Shake that off. And we got this beautiful, beautiful palm. Don't you just love it? Here's the picture of the hat that... Uh, I'm going to put the one that we just made on. I oh, actually did it already. And then here's a bouquet of a bunch of different uh, pom-poms that I made with all the different sizes of the pom-pom makers that I have. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, and if you haven't gone out and got yourself a set of clover um, pom-pom makers, might be something you want to save up for. All right. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, would you please consider doing that as well? I'd appreciate it very much. Okay, my friends. Thank you. Have a great day.